I'm honored to speak to you about the first tuition-free public charter school that focuses on students with autism in the Southwest, Arizona Autism Charter School, or ASACS as we like to call it. ASACS was born out of, the, out of the love of a child, Sammy. Sammy is the son of our CEO and founder, Diana Diaz Harrison, and Sammy has autism. I'm doubly honored, honored because my daughter also has autism and there is something they don't tell you when you receive a diagnosis. And that something is that you undergo a transformational change in every fiber of your being. You go through an epitome of emotions. You worry, you wonder, you stress. But then you put on your warrior gear and you advocate. And that is what Diana did. She said, there's got to be something better. Because she was told from early on all the things that Sammy could not or would not be able to do. And she was not content with that. She searched and researched and looked all around, and there was nothing in the state of Arizona that met her expectations, so she created it. The Dalai Lama said, just as ripples occur in water from a single pebble, the impact of an individual can have far-reaching effects. When Azax first started, there were 90 students in one building. Now, 10 years later, we have five campuses, including our new Tucson campus, our online campus. We have a 95% re-enrollment rate we have just under 1,000 students projected for next school year. In terms of academic, we measure data using student responsive goals. These goals were created in order to measure the quality and effectiveness of education and alternative settings. Last year, 80% of our students met or exceeded our goals in ELA, math, and student engagement. And over 90% of our students met or exceeded in secondary preparedness. Absolutely amazing. But I could talk about data all day long. However, it's these things that are unquantifiable that we do at AZEX that really makes me so proud to be a part of this organization. For example, a few weeks ago, I had a parent call me and she said, "Miss Tracy, I need your help. I don't know what to do. My daughter will not come to school. Her anxiety is so bad, and this is very common with kiddos on the spectrum. There's peaks and valleys. Um, and so I said, okay, all right, it's okay. Let me see what I can do. She said, you don't understand. She's running out of my house. She won't go to school. If I do get her in my car, if I get a few blocks away, she runs out of my car. I am so scared. I said, hang on a second. So I gathered the troops, and I said, what can we do? What can we do to help this parent? And we called her back and we said, can we bring some staff over tomorrow morning? And she said, yes. And I said, I just want to thank you for being honest with us. So the next morning, our uh, campus BCBA director and a couple of other uh, staff members went over to the house. And about an hour later, up pulls a little girl with, uh, with our faculty and they had her hand in hand and they walked around the car and it was during morning drop off and our staff started to cheer, just started cheering. It was amazing. These are kinds of things that we do at ASACS that sets us apart. It's the heart that we have for our kids. We just love them so much. I have a parent that said, thank you for providing the level of education that I expect for my child with autism to have. I know that he can come to school and not be a burden and be respected. I look forward to having my five-year-old who also has autism to come to your school and a high school parent that said, thank you for keeping hope alive and keeping us dream of a better future. So why is our program so successful? We have small group setting, no more than 12 students in a classroom with uh, three staff to one student ratio. And we have small group instruction embedded into our classrooms. That way we can optimize um, student engagement as well as progress. We also have a wonderful program where our kids are in art, dance, music, PE, because we want that well-rounded education for our kids. Our students are also exposed to our STEAM program. We, this year we adopted the Waz Ed Pathways curriculum, which was developed by Steve Wozniak, who is one of the co-founders of Apple. It's a K-12 curriculum. So students in kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade are are getting integrated into the STEAM curriculum and STEAM programming. I have sixth graders who are flying drones every week in our NPR, 
and our high school students are going through advanced drone classes and they're actually going to be certified FAA drone pilots. So this is a skill that they could have and carry on with them. Past high school, the CDC says, and one in 36 students are diagnosed with autism. We are in demand. Schools like ours, parents are clamoring to come. We have over 600 students on our wait list. We are trying so hard to ensure that everybody gets the, what we have and bring it to them. We have families that will travel all over the United States to come to AZACS. We even had a family this year move from Pakistan and they uprooted their whole family, came to Arizona, never been there in their life, never had set foot in our school, and yet they came. And it was, this child is in high school and had never ever been in an educational setting in his life. Um, so it's amazing that we've been able to provide that. But with the help of the Yaz Prize, which we won in 2022, we've been able to start the National Accelerator for Autism Charter Schools. This is so that any charter school who wants our model can be trained under us and bring it back to their state. We currently have four states that are in um, the accelerator right now, and that is Louisiana, Texas, Nevada, and Florida. We want these wraparound services so much. It's so important to us. We have to look at that one in 36. What's going to happen later on in life? What's going to happen in their 20s and 30s and 40s? What's going to happen to kids like Sammy? We can't just let our kids leave our school and say, bye, have a great night. You know, that, that's not going to work for our kids. Autism is lifelong. And our young adults need support just as much as I can, our K through 12. Our vision is that students will be empowered to fulfill their potential in motivating compassionate environments using individualized programs so that each child can gain the skills to integrate into the community and become a fulfilled, productive citizen. Therefore, we have started and are breaking ground right now on the Essential Peace Adult Entrepreneurial Program. This program will have four businesses embedded into it so that our kids can gain essential skills to enter into the workforce and become those independent, fulfilled, productive citizens. We're truly, it's amazing. We are so proud of what we do and we're proud to be an award-winning school. Just being here is such an honor, it truly is. We also won the National Title I Distinguished Award this past school year for our work with the special population of students that we have. And it's because of that holistic approach. We truly believe in everything we do, but it's not just what we do with our kids. They're, they're so important and they, that is a focus, that is the center of what we do. But we also have an amazing group of people that we have to work so much together in order to create this special environment that we have. It's from top to bottom. We embrace people who want to work with neurodivergent kiddos. We even want people with neurodivergence themselves to work with us because who else is going to get our kids better than, than neurodivergent people, right? I know this because my daughter, Cassidy, is autistic and she works at my school and she adores her job. She loves it because she knows that ASEX was built on a foundation of love. April is Autism Awareness Month, but boy, have we taken awareness out of the picture. We're out of there. <laughs> we have, we're taking the dis out of disability and we are replacing it with I can and I will. And that is what's so important to us. Remember that pebble I mentioned? It's turned into a boulder. That boulder is unstoppable and unbreakable. We are so excited to be able to make an impact and to help and build hope for families across the nation. And we're so excited to be able to share our message with you all. Thank you.